Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. To recap what we learned in the last section, let's talk about what the slopes of parallel and per perpendicular lines look like. So remember, if we're given a slope, if we want to find the parallel slope, and these two lines indicate parallel, then we have the same slope. If we're given a slope and we're trying to find a perpendicular slope, then our slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other, which means to flip the fraction and change the sign. So let's real quick talk about a couple of those. So given a slope of, say, 2 fifths, what is the parallel slope and the perpendicular slope? So I'm going to write out if my m is equal to 2 fifths, then my parallel slope is simply going to be the same thing as 2 fifths. OK, if my slope is 2 fifths and we're trying to find our perpendicular slope, then we flip our fraction and change the sign, and we write that as negative 5 halves. OK, so on this next example, given the following graph, write an equation of a line that is parallel, parallel to the given line that passes through the point 3, 2. So here's our given line, and we want to write the equation of a line that passes through this point 3, 2. So the first thing that we need is we need to identify the slope of this line. And what I do is I look at a couple different points. So I look at, like, say, this point on the graph, this point, this point on the graph. I got all these different points, right? And what I want to figure out is my stair step. What's my rise over run? And so I rise up 1 over 3, OK? Same thing here, go up 1 over 3, all right? So my slope here is m is equal to 1 third, OK? Now, with that slope, we want to figure out what's our parallel slope. And what we know is that the, our parallel slopes have the same slope. So our parallel slope is 1 third. Now, what we can do is we could simply just use the graph and generate more points on this. So we can go uh, down 1 to the left 3, plot a point, and continue that trend um, all the way and up to the right as well. Okay, So we can generate the equation of this line and the graph of this line um, just by just by using our graph, OK? And so from there, what we know is that this equation has a slope of 1 third, and it has a y-intercept of positive 1, OK? So we automatically then know that the equation of this line is going to be 1 third x plus 1. Now, what I want to do is actually just use these points to figure that out. All right, so knowing that our slope is equal to 1 third. Using this point here, we have an x value of 3 and a y value of 2. Now what we're going to do is use the equation y equals mx plus b to figure out what our b value is. This is the algebra involved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 2 for y. So 2 is equal to 1 third times 3 plus b. Uh, and when we multiply fractions, remember that we want to multiply the numerators together and the denominators. Now if I have the number 3, I'm going to put that over 1 because that's how I'd write 3 as a fraction. So let's write, the, let's, let's multiply these. Uh, 1 times 3 gives us 3, 3 times 1 gives us 3, plus b, and that's equal to 2. All right, from here, what we've got is uh, 3 divided by 3 is going to give us 1, so 2 is equal to 1 plus b. Let's subtract 1 from both sides, and we get 1 is equal to b. So now that we have our y-intercept, we have our slope, we can write that as y equals 1 third x plus 1. And that is our answer, OK? So again, you can use a graph. That's fine. However, you need to be able to do the algebra involved to do this as well. All right, so we're going to do the same thing, except uh, given the following graph, write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the given line that passes through the point 3, 2. So same thing, except for we're going to use uh, this equation in this point to write a, draw a line that's perpendicular, OK? So first things first, um, you know, same thing. We have to identify our slope of this original line. And that's up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3. So our slope here is equal to 1 third. Now, if we're looking for a line that is perpendicular, then we have to identify our perpendicular slope, which in this case means that we want to flip our fraction and change the sign. So this is going to give us negative 3 over 1. 
okay? And if I'm writing this as just a, a number, our perpendicular slope is going to give us just negative 3, all right? So that's our slope. We have our point. Now we can write the equation of a line. So let's identify our slope, negative 3. We have our x value of 3 and our y value of 2, okay? And so from here, <clears throat> what we want to do is write this using the equation y equals mx plus b. Plug in 2 for y, negative 3 for m, 3 for x, add b. From here, negative 3 times 3 gives us negative 9 plus b, and that's equal to 2. Then the next thing we want to do is add 9 to both sides, add 9, and we get that 11 is equal to b. All right, so we have our slope, all right, um, and we have our y-intercept, and we'd write that as y equals negative 3x plus 11. Now, we can come over here on the graph and do the same thing, and we can draw this line. We can go up to the left 3, up 3 to the left 1, I'm, I'm sorry, up 3 to the left 1, up 3 to the left 1, and that would give us at, at 11. Okay, 11 is kind of cut off on the graph, but that's okay. Uh, we can, and then we can draw our equation, all right? So we can draw our line here. And that fits on all those points, okay? And that would make that a perpendicular line. Okay, so on this next example, we want to write the equation of a line parallel to the equation y equals 2x minus 1 that passes through the point 2, negative 3. Now, what I want to do is first look at our equation here, and I'm going to write that down, y equals 2x minus 1. We want to identify the slope of this equation. Okay, and what I'm looking for is just the number that's in front of my x value, which is 2. So m is equal to 2. All right, now what I want to do is I want to write what's my parallel slope for that, all right, for that point, uh, because we're looking for a, parallel, a line parallel to that. So our parallel slope is the same, so our parallel slope is equal to 2. Now we use our point here of 2, negative 3 to write the equation of that line. So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 3. So what we do is we now write this in the form of y equals mx plus b. All right, so plug in negative 3 for y, plug in 2 for m, 2 for x plus b. And let's do the math. 2 times 2 gives us 7. So 7 plus b is equal to negative 3. Subtract 7 from both sides, and we get that our b value is equal to negative 10. All right, and that's our y-intercept. So now we have our y-intercept, all right? We have our slope, and we can write our equation as y equals 2x minus 10, and that's it, okay? Okay, on our last problem, we want to write the equation of a line perpendicular to the equation y minus 3 equals 2 times x minus 2 that passes through the point 2, negative 3. Now, what I want to show you is that this equation is in point-slope form, okay? We've talked about this in previous videos, all right? But this is in point-slope form, okay? And that's y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. All this is is another way for us to write equations of lines, okay? Now, let me write this down right below it, okay? I'm going to write y minus 3 is equal to 2 times x minus 2. Now what I want you to realize is that our slope is in this position in front of your x terms, okay? So then the slope can be found in this equation here by this number, all right? And so our slope here is equal to 2. Now we're trying to find a perpendicular, a line of a perpendicular equation. So our perpendicular slope then is equal to negative 1 over 2. All right, flip your fraction. Now, writing 2 as a fraction, I'm going to put that as 2 divided by 1. All right, so flip your fraction, change the sign. Now, we have a point on this graph. All right, we have the point 2, negative 3. So what we can do is write out our x value is 2. Our y value is equal to negative 3. From here, okay, we can use our equation y equals mx plus b. All right, from there, <clears throat> plug in negative 3 for y, plug in negative 1 half for m, plug in 2 for x plus b. Now, we have a fraction, and we're operating with fractions, so I'm going to turn 2 into a fraction as well, 
and put that over 1. Okay. From here, what I want to do is multiply across. So I have negative 1 times 2, which is negative 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Add b, and that's equal to negative 3. So now you have negative 2 divided by 2, which is 1. I'm sorry, negative 1, and then plus b, and that equals negative 3. So then we want to add 1 to both sides, and we get that negative 2 is equal to b. So now that we have our y-intercept and we have our slope, we can write the equation of the line, which is y equals negative 1 half x minus 2. And that's our answer. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.